Hello everyone, Coin Collector here, and today we're going to be taking a look at some American coins that I bought on eBay. Um, so one thing that I do is I buy job lots of coins effectively on eBay and try and sort through them. So I paid £25, which is about $32 out there, for these American coins. Um, the reason why I bought this is because it had a nice wide range of um, American coins in it, and some silver. So let's start with the quarters. So we have five silver quarters, which is under an ounce, but still a fair amount of silver. So we've got 1963, there you go, okay condition, 1945, it's quite worn, but silver silver. Um, uh, 1934, another 1964, that's the last year I believe that um, silver was actually in the quarter dollars. And another 1964. Um, we then got some other just normal, so clad quarters and a uh, North Carolina state quarter. We're celebrating the first flight ever made. Okay, um, we then just got some fairly boring nickels. <laughs> um, the oldest one being from 1947, but they're all in okay condition. Um, I don't actually have a steel cent before, but um, I know this one's not actually in great condition. But it, you can see it says 1943 there. Uh, so this is a steel cent, which was made during the war, obviously. Um, compare it to a normal one, see the difference. <laughs> Copper, steel. Uh, this one's obviously rusted quite a bit, but it's nice to add to my collection of American coins because I didn't have one before. Um, we've got one dime, which is just clad. Nothing special about that at all. Um, but the real reason why I bought this particular lot is because I saw these five Indian head pennies. Um, and the oldest one of these is from 1859 and is actually in amazing condition from that age. You can see Liberty clearly. Um, the tea's a little bit warm, which is surprising, but the rest of it is completely clear on this side. And on the other side, once again, in great condition. Um, this was, as I said, was the main reason why I bought this, because this coin alone is worth about $100. So I've easily made a profit on this job lot of coins. And that's very nice, because it's old and in great condition. Um, put thumbs up if you like this coin on the video, please. Um, we did get some other Indian heads, not to you know ruin that reputation, but we got another one from 1863. Obviously this one's nowhere near as in great condition, but it's a uh, fairly rare, and still this coin alone is probably worth about $30 still. Uh, so yeah, so this one actually has the shield on the top, whereas if you compare it to this one, oops, get the right way up, there is no shield. Um, so yeah, so that one's from 1863. We then have one from 1873. This one's a bit bashed up, a bit around the edge, has been hit about a bit. Um, probably worth about $10 or something. Still pretty good for an individual coin. Um, another one from 1887. Some nice Indian heads here, a bit worn that one, still a nice year, don't have it. Um, and then 1901, once again, not in that great condition, but um, an Indian head is an Indian head, as they say. Um, we then got five um, wheat scent pennies. There you go, not in great condition, but interesting. Yep. And obviously just some random, more modern ones, although this 1984D looks in surprisingly good condition. Um, yeah, so please hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave any comments down below. And I also want to talk about quickly, um, there's a poster done by PGCS. Um, which is on all the American coins. And at the end of this video, I'll put a photo of it up. And unfortunately, they didn't sell it in this country. So I had to ask Silver Baggins to buy it for me in America and then post it out to me. So um, I'm going to leave a link in the description down to his channel. I'm sure you already know him already. But um, I'd just like to give Silver Baggins a massive shout out for sending me this poster. I'll send you, I'll put a photo at the end of the video of it. Um, it's really good. It tells you all about every American coin. I'll leave a link to PGCS's website about it as well. Um, you should really check it out. And I'm going to be sending Silver Baggins some of this stuff 
um, in the post at some point as a thank you present. So once again, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and leave any comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave any comments down below.